Hello guys. So, I hope we are online. So, my name is uh, Maxim Zhestkov. I know it's hard to pronounce in English. Yeah. <laughs> so, and um, please uh, write something in the chat. I'm not sure, you know, can you hear me or, or see my screen? Um, so actually, I'm a, you know, an artist and a designer. I studied architecture and, um, you know, I suppose, uh, I, I really love something in between architecture and graphic design and animation. That's why I just, you know, decided to record a course on Learn Square named Concept Architecture, where I, you know, explain and show you some things, um, how to create things, how to think, um, you know, about forms and shapes and um, how to find references, how to work with these some kind of raw ideas and how to develop some interesting things um, and actually in the end how to render 360 um, panorama and yeah uh, so yeah I see guys hello hello uh, yeah great I suppose you can hear me uh, this is pre-recorded yeah no it's a it's a it's a live we are in, in real time it's a <laughs> it's a really early here it's a 5 a.m. and it's pretty insane yeah so sorry uh, I could be a, a little bit you know sleepy or something so yeah but uh, actually what I'm going to do today um, is you know to create some kind of speed uh, modeling <laughs> and speed um, rendering uh, I want to you know create a scene and then dive inside and um, you know set up some interesting light um, so this is my latest project I launched a, a week ago uh, and uh, 15 minutes um, ago I just got a notification that woohoo you just got a Vimeo stuff peak yeah I'm, I'm extremely happy uh, a little bit sleepy but extremely happy <laughs> So yeah, now now I'm it's um it's with this really really nice stuff peak icon yeah so uh, actually yeah uh, talking about architecture and interiors I'm always trying to balance and find some you know interesting um, you know ways how to tell stories how to you know work with animation but not with some kind of you know um, with maybe with some restrictions that I have to use some environments because I, I'm extremely obsessed with um, you know some kind of spaces and um, sometimes they are extremely minimalistic uh, sometimes I'm doing uh, some more details but I'm trying to you know um, to keep everything um, simple in some point because I, I really love um, some of my favorite architects is some kind of you know Renzo Piano and um, Ando and uh, what I really love is some kind of minimalistic approach to um, dealing with some uh, some kind of situations and problems and ideas so yeah and um, actually in my course I covered huge amount of topics from the very beginning from the you know how to start thinking about your project and how to you know finally publish it on uh, Sketchfab uh, and actually that's what I'm showing it's um, 360 uh, panorama uploaded to Sketchfab and um, it's pretty uh, it's pretty you know straightforward way to create you know this experience and um, it's 
extremely interesting that this is some kind of next um, step in um you know in understanding and showing your your projects because you just could not to you know to show your viewers you have to look only for this particular you know compositional um frame or something but you could you know just place your observer inside your work and he could you know um be able to you know turn his head and find some interesting um points and you know to um to immerse into your image um, to dive really deep so and uh, i suppose we could start uh i'll use cinema 4d uh because i, I really love uh, modeling here it's pretty you know uh, pretty fluent pretty easy i met uh, this software um just a couple of years ago uh but i became you know some kind of obsessed with modeling here uh because I love this um, simplicity, you know, it's, it's, it's really um, easy to, um, you know, in some point it's, it's, it's a, you know, always a story about tools. We have to develop our, uh, you know, develop not our tools, but our habits, um, what we, what we have to use, how, and, um, you know, our perfect uh, instruments and uh, I found that um, Cinema 4D is extremely um, you know simple thing and uh, it's like a hammer or something it's just a, a tool which you could use to create really uh, interesting results because it's a quite simple and it's you know gives you this um, amount of flexibility um, to to create whatever you want so uh, at this point i'm talking about po polygon uh polygonal modeling because i'm a you know uh, i love to think with uh, 3d shapes and um you know actually i'm going to you know cover some kind of you know outline this schedule for this uh, stream i'm going to spend you know about 30 minutes um on uh, doing um, some speed modeling and then i'm going to spend next 30 minutes uh doing some rendering and lighting my scene and later maybe 10 or 15 minutes um we could spend you know talking about some you know um questions i could answer everything um so ask me mm, write down your you know questions with some kind of tag or something i'm not quite um you know um sure how actually twitch uh, works because it's uh, my first twitch and um so but you know just write down your questions and i will try to answer so let's start uh I'm not going to dive too deep into technical side of, uh, you know, what I'm doing. Uh, I will try to cover just a, a couple of um, different things uh, because I, I, I'm going to create it um, quite fast and I, I, I'm not going to dive too deep into the details. If you want, you know, uh, some huge amount of details you could enroll to my course and get everything with you know huge amount of small videos um about all the tools which i'm using so um actually what i want to do it, actually i want to improvise because uh, i don't have uh, some kind of strict idea and really you know um some kind of plan what I'm going to do I'm I have a couple of abstract concepts what I want to play with but not a you know some kind of solid idea or some kind of extremely um, developed references no this time I'm just going to 
um, just to play with shapes and forms. That's what I want to do. Uh, that's what I love to do. And uh, it's some kind of Zen practice, <laughs> which you you know, sometimes I'm doing um, just you know to to refresh my perception or something. And um, when I started architecture at university, it was really um, great course on uh, sculpture and I got this you know um, feeling of working with clay uh, it, it was a huge pleasure to to create these things and um, later I discovered that we could create the same thing with um, you know with polygons uh, this is something like a clay, <laughs> you know, but um, you know, this this is some kind of uh, clay with some restrictions because you can't uh, dive and start doing something like in ZBrush because ZBrush, uh, it's, a, it's a great tool, yeah, but these endless possibilities um, sometimes they are not your friend or something uh, in in a creative process because it's a too open. I love to you know to get some help in some point, creative help maybe uh, from from a software uh, to get maybe some kind of happy accidents or something um, actually we spent a um, yeah uh, my friend uh, Max Berman I suppose <laughs> you know this uh, guy and uh, actually he's uh, finishing um, apprentice um, course um, apprentice journey on my course and um, I believe it will be um, you know, online really, really soon, uh, and um, we we had a really great um, conversation about this type of happy um, accidents, and it was a really, uh, really great to hear that not uh, this, this is not only um, you know my idea that it's it's a really um, you know it's only my personal. Uh, way of thinking. No, Max uh, said that this is the thing how he <laughs> how he loved to to do stuff to 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 start something and you know just allow you know some kind of software sometimes uh, for references help um, to build it or something. So yeah, uh, I see in comments um, uh, some kind of reply that it looks like a um, you know, um, paper sculpture or something. Uh, yeah, in, in some point, you know, um, it's um, why why I love to work with polygons because you know you could develop um, start from from a scratch from a, only a couple of um, you know a couple of polygons and then uh, start playing and adding some elements yep and um, that's what I love and that's what I'm going to show you um, guys how how I'm doing how I how I love to you know think about forms because you know it's an endless process we could spend you know years polishing something but you know about this concept idea, it's a really nice and really great to set up some mood and these restrictions, uh, w which you can get from from polygon modeling, from really low poly modeling. It's a really really nice and really interesting, and um, because you could um, think with these shapes. Okay. Yep. Um, doo -doo -doo. Yeah. 
Yes. So, and um, I use knife for adding some new edges, but you know this type of um, uh, when I'm just starting, I'm I'm not you know a huge fan of uh, dive too deep and add thousands of um, elements right from the beginning. I love to you know to to keep everything simple and uh, I love to name everything. Uh, so this one is a, it's a bottom, it's a floor, let's name it floor yep. and uh, view. Yep. I can size, yeah, they are large, but not so large actually. Uh, so and this is, it will be walls. And next one, uh, let's create a something like a ceiling. I, I don't know uh, what I want to do, but um, I have some kind of um, maybe not an idea, you know, but something like an image in my head. Uh, it's something something organic, uh, but not too smooth because I want to, you know, um, find some really nice balance between um, hard um, edges and really organic um, elements. So, and this one let's name it um, ceiling. And let's uh, drop this guy here. Yeah. And um, so, uh, in this scene, I decided to use um, symmetry um, because uh, this image in my head. It's, it's quite symmetrical and um, that's why I decided to use this type of workflow with uh, simple objects and with some kind of um, symmetry stuff because it's, it's a pretty easy uh, stuff to work with. We could just uh, uh, turn our symmetry off and work only with these um, you know, with with one side of our project, with one side of our model, and um, yes, this um, you know paper analogy, it's it's a pretty nice and pretty pretty cool because when you um, work uh, on on some kind of architectural forms, the the main thing is uh, some kind of core uh, core idea. It's it, it could be you know a sphere or a cylinder or something, and all the next you know months of your work, uh, it will be some kind of you know working and adding details for this thing and and so forth. But the the first and the main think is this first, you know, some kind of uh, main shape, which will be, you know, like a soul of your project or something. And um, it's, it's really nice to set it with a simple geometry because simple geometry um, will, you know, guide you in some point later when, you know, there will be thousands of different details. It could be really complicated scene or something. But if you uh, kept it, um, you know, simple in in the very beginning uh, when you started, when you you know uh, decided to um, create, um, you know, your building or something uh, with just uh, you know some kind of uh, really nice and simple element okay maybe it will be you know something like a uh, combination of a you know of a two figures or something maybe here it is it's a, just a two objects and that's all and later we could add some elements some fancy stuff and uh, you know multi-layered structures and some kind of additional um, elements everywhere, blah, 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 thousands of details. But the main construction, the main idea uh, will be this intersection 
of a two shapes, you know, and it could be extremely, um, you know, great uh, to have this, uh, you know, some kind of pure concept in your mind that, okay, I, I made this thing and later I spent a couple of weeks, but I had this, you know, creative friend <laughs> in some point um, as this solid geometry, because it's, it's a really nice way of uh, doing things from a very simple and nice uh, start. Okay, um, uh, we could um, turn uh, things off and on and um, decide which elements we want to cover, which elements we want to hide, um, you know, but at this um, particular moment I want to save it because I don't want to lose all these th things. So, okay, and let's add an additional element. Um, oops, my microphone. Wait a second. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I almost uh, lost my microphone. Um, yep. Uh, so, uh, as an additional element, I want to create something like a back wall or something because I, I want to show some depth and uh, this guy will be like back wall back back wall well it's not a wall it's a some something different yeah now it is a wall okay delete it and paste it here no not here wait a second yep yeah with symmetry so and the same thing let's um, turn it to editable thing and let's start playing with some geometry and yeah we could turn it off and on and uh, you know to get an idea what we want to achieve with our object. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Um, maybe I want to add some nice, you know, depth here. Yep, with these elements. Yeah, maybe. Why not? And uh, maybe a couple of things here. So uh, I'm not going to dive too deep with this modeling uh, and add thousands and thousands of small details. Um, you know, I, I want to build some kind of, you know, simple structure and uh, then um, dive into rendering in Arnold because, uh, you know, my course is a concept architecture and uh, uh, I love to, you know, I think it's the, the best part of any uh, of every project is to, you know, to think about concept, to, to set all your ideas, to set all your, you know, elements together and build this DNA. And later, when this project is already uh, has his own, you know, um, soul in some point, you, it's, it's a quite easier thing because you could, you know, spend weeks and months um, on it, but understanding how it will looks and feels. So the same thing which I, you know, made for you know, for example, this piece. So I created some kind of um, sharp um, geometrical ideas that it's some, it's going to be something like a corridor or something. And then I spent maybe 
one day or something with these pretty small and nice details and some kind of textures um, you know but it, it was the really really solid and really um, easy for understanding idea what I want to do I just made some kind of pretty small um, th thumbnail with this idea that okay it's maybe something like a corridor and yeah and observer staying some somewhere here and you know his point of view um, will be you know this area and um, you know when you already set up this thing it's you know it's much much easier for you to start you know developing it because sometimes it's extremely um, uh, you know hard thing to start from somewhere because it's a uh, endless possibilities here uh, yeah hello this is a 3d um, you know world and we could do whatever we want but we have to find some kind of restrictions what we have to um, you know allows us to <laughs> to do because if we um, you know uh, if we could create whatever we want we could you know create whatever you know we we can <laughs> and it could be extremely messy mm -hmm. it's for sure so that's why I suppose we we have to keep this idea of you know some kind of restrictions or something uh, because uh, you know our world and our reality is too crowded with ideas to you know to packed with different <laughs> inspirational sources and we have to you know uh, stop this process a little bit and say hey hey no it's a too much information around us we have to you know uh, find a couple of different references a couple of different ideas uh, stick to them and spend next month or next week or next day um, developing something uh, which we just um, created uh, but without some kind of you know changing everything because you know for short films and for personal projects um, I think the, the it, it, it's extremely easy everyone could start his own art film short film or some project but it's fucking insanely hard to finish it you know <laughs> it's, it's extremely uh, it's a, it's a, you know sometimes it's so crazy that you start something and you think oh yeah it will be really fun I could spend a couple of months doing it yeah it will be so cool but in one week you feel oh hell <laughs> I I hate it I don't need, want to continue work on this project because I'm too I have a, a thousands of different ideas which are for sure better and you know why why do I have to spend next couple of months doing this one but not my next one maybe I have to start doing something new <laughs> yeah guys this is the hardest thing to uh, get things done <laughs> yeah and uh, you know I think this is the you know some kind of test can you finish something big uh, you know without some deadlines in some point without some kind of uh, restriction from from somewhere and without some kind of additional people but maybe only with you when you're you know just uh, your art director your you know guy who just in charge of all your projects wait a second yeah so um okay um i just want to add just a two um additional details and then i will um finish and polish 
uh, these elements and start in 10 or 15 minutes I'm going to start doing some lighting because you know um, geometry it's it's extremely uh, important uh, thing um, and um, but you know it's uh, it's really important um, to uh, light your scene later because it, sometimes it could be really good geometry with bad lighting um, and it could ruin everything. Um, so okay, let's let me set an additional thing. It's uh, walls. Yeah, I see in the comments um, a really <laughs> interesting thing that it's not a, an easy task to think. Uh, and do something because actually I work uh, without this, you know, um, talking about <laughs> my processes. I suppose this is uh, the first time in my life when I'm um, talking and doing stuff. Actually, I'm trying to keep silence. <laughs> yeah. And actually, it's more productive for sure. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not going to speak too much uh, in this process of modeling because I want to concentrate mostly on modeling rather than, you know, speaking too much because it's a speed modeling. No, yeah, it's it's already a couple of really interesting elements here. Yep, I have to save. So and yeah, for some kind of detailed think in my course I covered <laughs> I suppose everything um, without this you know speed process of thinking and talking <laughs> in one time yeah Yeah, maybe I'm going to add a final, yeah, a couple of elements here. Yep. And, and then I'm just going to stop uh, modeling and uh, polish a couple of details. So let's create a polygon one symmetry. Yep, here we go. Make it editable. Yeah working without talking is much much more productive <laughs> oh yeah god focus is a really important thing yeah maybe next time on my um, twitch um, i'm going to cover some topics about you know how to build projects from scratch uh, but with more you know talking uh, rather than doing i'm not sure why i decided to uh, dive to you know to speed 
things uh, but you know for first time I think it's pretty pretty okay so and yeah for back wall uh, I'm pretty okay with this one yep and what I want to fix is this one and name everything is a extremely important thing to name appropriately because when there are thousands of different elements in your scene it's a really really nice to keep your project organized and your file um, have to have some nice and understandable names because you could open your scene later and you have to be able to continue working um, on it yeah and that's what i'm trying to uh, try to explain you know this um, process of you know thinking uh, while you're doing something uh, you know maybe um, it's not <laughs> actually it was a problem with talking and doing maybe it's um, it's just in my process of um, um, thinking right inside your project because um, you know like like a sculpture or something you could understand your you know your project when you start doing it it's you know you, you could create a couple of concept ideas how you want to you know what you want to do but later when you dive uh, inside your project it's a you know really nice thing to you know to became a uh, you know some kind of friend of your <laughs> geometry at some point because you could find some um, inner uh, language of your geometry I, I'm not using two um, hotkeys at the, at the moment because some of you uh, might be you know interested in how to use this command or this tool or or this tool so in reality I'm doing it a little bit faster but I'm not going to you know create some kind of too messy process today and I will show you yeah it's a well tool to to connect your dots because you know I, I work with the different polygons uh, on a concept level it's really easy for me later to just create a couple of different polygons and you know just uh, weld um, points oops nope nope not you weld mm. yep and these two guys now uh, actually what I'm doing I, I set up this geometry I'm pretty I'm not uh, pretty happy with it but you know uh, for for a sake of what I wanted to do it's 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 pretty okay and now I want to just uh, you know some kind of close all the gaps and uh, dive into model uh, not not the modeling enough with modeling <laughs> dive into next step to lighting and rendering in Arnold I'm using Arnold with Cinema 4D because it's a, it's a really s you know simple and really um, great way to to create uh, really great results really fast without some really hardcore uh, you know diving too deep okay I, I just need an additional polygon here yep and let's weld these guys yeah. 
So as I said uh, previously, I want to create something, you know, in some point organic because it's, um, you know, symmetry. Symmetries always refer to some organic things, um, you know, but actually I don't want to dive too deep into, um, you know, subdivisions and create it really smooth. Uh, I want to keep it sharp in some point. Um, you know, um, it will be some kind of combination of this organic symmetry and um, sharp edges. But at the moment, I'm just cleaning up everything. Yep, and because we are using uh, symmetry, we could just uh, work with only one side of our model and the other will be, you know, symmetrical. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty cool. Yep, and um, actually it's a really nice thing um, for in cinema for welding your um, points uh, when you use symmetry. It's just automatical, uh, automatic thing, and here in tolerance, it's just stitch everything um, which near this, you know, line of, of symmetry. Yep. So here you go. Just you know, some kind of cleaning a little bit. Uh, yeah, my perspective point will be some something from here. So um, now I want to set up a camera. Uh, let's uh, group all these guys and name it geometry. Geometry. Yeah, here you are. Here we go. And next one, I'm going to create a camera. And I'm going to set it. Let's create a 50 millimeters. Yep. Maybe, maybe I want to, um, I want to have this a little bit interesting, um, not, not a symmetrical, you know, straightforward view, a little bit side view. Um, yep. And let's lock our camera. Oh, where are you? Yep. Protect it. And, um, Okay, let's save it. Uh, next um, thing, what I want to do is to, because I set up my camera and now I want to oh, change it a little bit. Yep, let's check it. It's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, pretty cool. And let's frame it. Yeah, maybe, maybe. So, and uh, talking about scale, actually, it's an extremely important um, topic in cinematography that, you know, your camera is your main, um, you know, some kind of tool for telling your stories. And, um, so uh, when you want to create a huge scale uh, for your project, you have to set up your camera at the very bottom. And if you want to, you know, create a, some kind of small scale element, you have to create your camera, uh, you know, somewhere on the top. So yeah, it's, it's our camera. Yep. Um, because um, our perception is just uh, understanding our point of view, our camera as our personal, you know, point of view. So if we set up our camera here, this, you know, scale for, for this uh, environment will be that, that a human figure will be some, you know, this sized. And for this, camera it will be this size because we will uh, perceive this thing from this point of view. So please keep it in mind uh, and you know to to create 
this huge um, composition, I want to create some kind of, you know, big masses, big elements everywhere and just keep this small uh, space as a main point, as a vanishing point in some point. Point in some point. Yeah, great. It's a 5 a.m. here. <laughs> so, um, you know, to direct our eyes just in this point and maybe I will set up a small figure, a small guy here. Um, and what I want to show is these huge and really big elements, which are just, you know, really immense. Uh, and um, it's already here. That's, you know, what I want to do is to keep our, you know, perception for this particular um, part of, of our composition. So um, what I want to do now is uh, I want to uh, fill this gap and uh, yeah, and and next I will start uh, preparing it for lighting. So actually it's uh, this guy. Yep, this one, it's a ceiling a one. Oh gosh, 5 a.m. It's really cool. That's what we love to spend a huge amount of time doing some computer graphic and design stuff, sleep a couple of hours and we are ready for our next gig for our next, you know, 16 hours of our favorite thing. <laughs> Yay. Awesome. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Really, really close. Yep. And now let's combine these points. Yep. And check it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, I will keep it. So uh, next, uh, next thing what I want to do is I want to save it. Yeah, guys, please remember about this. Uh, fancy stuff. Save your project. Yeah, it's extremely important. Yay, yay. So, and now let's add um, some bevels. Uh, because for our light, it's, it's extremely important thing to get some more edges and with the bevel that's what we are going to get some really nice, you know, some kind of not a sharp things as computer graphics, um, you know, doing extremely sharp and perfect things. This is the worst thing uh, for our perception because in, in, in reality, everything is not perfect and these imperfections uh, so in reality we are trying to create everything perfect and in <laughs> in cg we are trying to create these imperfections to mimic reality yes yeah, it's, it's pretty weird but that's how we are doing stuff <laughs> yeah so and yeah, uh, because we we have this small amount of polygons, we could you know um, play with it and set some interesting um, compositional and you know um, concept ideas for our things. It's uh, really really easy to uh, keep it simple. Uh, on one hand, but on the other to keep it, um, you know, uh, to keep ability to change things inside it. Because if you decide to add a couple of thousand 
polygons here and here and here. We could always subdivide things, but mm, will it help us? Nah, not really. Um, later, for sure. But now we have to think mostly about some kind of just uh, big shapes. Yeah, pretty, pretty nice. Okay, next one it will be this guy. And uh, let's add oh, this guy. Yeah, but we have to work on this side. Yes, pretty happy with this one, pretty happy with this one. Let's, 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 let's add uh, one here. It's a bevel. Yep. And um, for this back wall, let's add a little bit this bevels for for back wall right click bevel yep here we go and maybe maybe here yeah, yeah too, too big yeah it's pretty cool and uh, for this guy, I suppose it will be. So let's let let me check it from from my camera. Yeah, it's pretty okay. So guys, and um, think about your camera. You know, when you create something, um, you know, for a for a, for a steel image or something, it's a pretty great idea to start um, doing you know, polishing or something from a couple of different cameras, uh, because we're restricted with time. Uh, what I'm doing here is just I'm set up one camera and I could, um, you know, jump right into this camera and concentrate on these, you know, details, uh, which we could see from this camera, you know, um, but if you want to, you know, create some spend some more time or something, you could create an additional camera here, uh, lock it and uh, spend some time, you know, working with these elements and um, jumping into this camera. You, you know, it's, it's, it's really, really um, easy way to polish your work uh, because you could save your work, um, you know, and later you could uh, check it as a dailies, you know, okay, five hours ago, uh, so when you think that you're stuck, just open your previous, um, you know, render and uh, get an idea that you're not stuck. You're just uh, far, far away um, from your, you know, result, uh, which you produced a um, couple of hours ago. That's why this camera, locked camera could help pretty, really um, to you because it's, uh, you know, some kind of, um, thing which could show you this mm, process how you how you move into into this um, mm, how your progress is is, is going along uh, so okay uh, almost happy with everything so I'm not happy with everything sure but you know it's quite okay uh, and uh, for this one let's um, set up bevel here I just want to stop doing, uh, I have to stop doing this <laughs> bevel process, but uh, for lighting, uh, it will be really, really cool. Um, so, um, yep, and uh, final one for this, let's uh, add uh, here, here and here. Okay, right click, bevel, and uh, that's all. Yeah, yeah, I, I thought I will create it in 30 minutes, but it took a little bit more time, but uh, it's pretty cool. cool. Okay, six. <sighs> Next step is to set up some light. Um, Arnold IPR 
uh, not small. I have a couple of presets. Um, I, I don't need to create some big um, IPR windows. It's a real time rendering. Uh, yeah, it's, it will be pretty cool. So, and now uh, let's start doing some uh, some light. Okay, uh, quad light. Uh, and here we can switch to our camera view. And, uh, you know, and now everything is black. Um, it's a really great way to, oops, Yeah, so wait a sec, wait a second. Let me just. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm not going to um, to dive into this thing. So uh, let me just start doing um, some lighting. Uh, okay, and let's play. Uh, the first thing uh, is uh, I really love to you know add uh, color to my light from the very beginning because it could be really really uh, nice to you know to to have this real um, perception. Wow, I, I have some pretty um, la lagging. It's really weird. Um, I suppose it's uh, because I'm doing this um, Twitch uh, stream. Wow, so weird. <laughs> oh, not a problem. I think I can I can handle with it. So okay, and let's add some different lights here and there. Yeah, it's not about symmetry. I thought maybe uh, it's uh, just uh, lagging because of symmetry or something. No, not really. So and let's create a material. I just want to create uh, some kind of white material for it shader. Um, Arnold surface standard. Um, yep, let's pause it. Let's bring it to the old geometry. Yep. Uh, yeah, I, I will pause my uh, IPR uh, for this, um, um, you know, uh, recording because it's, a, it's really weird lagging here. It's not a huge problem, but it's not a quite comfortable thing. Yeah, and now let's just add some different lights everywhere. Um, later we could add some kind of fill light, but at this particular moment I want to, you know, to add some different color light, um, some color for my lightings. You know, these um, changes are, are not really dramatic, but it could be really interesting to, you know, to have this, um, uh, you know, some kind of small differences in color. Okay, and uh, for this one, I really want to light this part. Yep, it's pretty nice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I want to create this part is a little bit mm, lighter because I'm going to, you know, set up a small character here, maybe. And uh, yep, and uh, maybe let's add some additional light as a point light because I want to light this scene a little bit 
Um, and yeah, point light, it's exposure. Yep, let's add uh, yeah, ray depth. Yep, here you are. And uh, two. Uh, I, I'm not going to create some kind of huge amount of samples or something. I just want to keep it some simple. Yeah, it's too much. Yeah, it's too green. Yeah, we could spend a huge amount of time tweaking everything. So um, uh, what I want to add is uh, just a small, um, maybe light here for a foreground. So let me um, copy one uh, light here. Oops, no, not you. Yep, you. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Yeah, why not? Maybe, maybe not, not sure. Um, so, uh, and let's let me uh, fill this gap. Uh, it's almost closed this thing. Yeah, it's pretty, pretty, pretty cool. And this guy. Oh, it's a, it's a bunch of them, sure, because I um, created this bevel thing. Yes, pretty nice. Uh, and now I want to set up a character. So, but actually, it's not. It will be not a character. It will be, you know, like a just a small um, cube uh, character, character cube. Just you know to to set up some uh, scale for it because later we could add a character here or something so and um, let's switch to our camera and let's uh, set this guy here and maybe it will be a couple of guys here a couple of cubicles uh, cubes yep so it's the first one it's yeah, okay. Yeah, you know, they are talking to each other. Yeah. Some uh, squared talk with this cube, guys. Um, yeah, it's pretty, you know, it was pretty fast, I suppose, uh, for, you know, this sake of doing and polishing we could spend huge amount of time but you know uh, we could now you know play with some kind of different um, lights and um, i suppose we could maybe uh, keep only a couple of them to dramatize this thing a little bit to you know, to eliminate our light and keep it a little bit, you know, a little bit mysterious. Yeah, why not? Uh, six and seven, yay. And let's add some, uh, some, you know, samples. Yeah, and Wait a little bit. Yeah. So, but I'm pretty okay with this uh, thing and let's um, create it a little bit bigger. For example, here and let's render it. So, it will take a couple of minutes. Now I think um, I can turn my Twitch chat and uh, 
and uh, you know answer to some of your questions is it working oh guys can you see my twitch no because I, I see only some kind of preloading stuff or something please uh chat uh please write this uh stuff can you see it or not i'm not sure Hello, hello. Hello, guys. Can you see it or not? What? I can see Twitch. Oh, yeah. Great. It's rendering. Yay, yay, guys. Stream works. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Awesome. Because, you know, my, um, my second uh, computer, it's a PC and it's just a, you know, just loading or the black screen something and, and nothing happens so cool uh, and now time for some questions yeah so let me check uh, check some of your questions mm -hmm. Yeah, about projects. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a really, really hard, you know, because um, um, so, for example, my, my, you know, lattice short film um, elements. Wow, it was a quite a, you know, <laughs> quite a long story. It's a, it, it was a two, um, two uh, and a half months um, doing it and it was really really hardcore thing because you know when you work alone it's could be really tough um, you know because you have to concentrate on your project and keep your path you know keep your you know kind of ideas and you have to finish it so sometimes it's a really really hard but you have to keep this thing as a, you know, as a really, um, you know, you have to visualize your final point, what you want to, what you want to achieve, maybe what you want to do. And this thing is extremely important to visualize your final result, because you have to, you know, you have to have to have this um, image of your final thing what you want to do with you know with this time which you um, you know in investing uh, invest your time because every project and everything what you're doing it's some kind of investing your money your time your brain power and when you start doing something you have to think and you have to realize what actually you want to achieve with this thing and this is extremely important thing to understand you know and some kind of see your final result before even you started your project and this is the vital thing you know because for 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 all for everything what you're doing it's a you know um, it's like a road map for you when you have this idea inside your head what what is your final destination point it will be really really you know some kind of your guideline something like your inner mentor which will guide you through this process through this project to the final you know line yeah i'm just showing you some of my images and some kind of designs which i made a couple of years ago and uh, yeah um, so guys <laughs> I, actually i just uh, reloaded my screen and all the gosh all the questions and all the chat just reloaded and now i, I don't see anything so guys if you have some questions please write them 
now <laughs> and I will answer because uh, or if you have them just a copy paste because now my you know chat section is totally empty yeah <laughs> and yeah uh, title is definitely wrong it's not a main title breakdown yeah <laughs> yeah sure it's definitely not So, uh, yeah, and uh, what about rendering? Yeah, it's almost finished. Yeah, in the process. What is about this life? Which uh, specific project? Oh, uh, no, it's um, actually just a, you know, it's a, not a specific project. I just showed my work principles, how I'm I'm doing some stuff, how I work on, you know, on my designs, how I love to, you know, play with the simple shapes and uh, <clears throat> step further, add some elements, you know, and clarify some my ideas, find something. Yeah, actually, uh, what I'm showing you at the moment, it's an um, Epsilon project. Um, it was a really nice to you know um, to create a, some kind of short story and visualize it it's about some kind of uh, space station somewhere on, on the other planet and it, it was really cool to create some kind of set design for for this universe for this um, mm, you know space base or something yeah it was pretty pretty interesting cool and big project i spent a, a month maybe or something um doing it you know jumping between some kind of details and some kind of product design driven things and some kind of architecture and all the things around yeah it was actually this project had a extremely big uh, resonance and i got a huge amount of you know um um, work uh, projects because it was published everywhere and yeah it was pretty cool um, so and uh, yeah and now about uh, questions hi Maxim uh -huh, uh -huh. so about VR technology yeah uh, uh, yeah, thanks for the question, D, uh, Diggy Game Boy. Uh, Diggy Game Boy, yeah, sorry. <laughs> so, um, actually, um, in my class, I covered, mm, you know, idea of uh, 360 images uh, because I'm extremely obsessed with this, you know, thing that you could, you know, create not a, just a small thing, but you could create the whole, you know, universe and set your viewer inside your project and show him you know everything and you know allows him to decide which part of your you know uh, world he he have to see or something so it's, it's a pretty crazy and next uh, step in you know in visual making visual direction because you you just think not with a just a standard perspective or something you create the wall think around this is such a crazy thing and um, yeah actually I experienced my these projects um, with Samsung VR and it was really really crazy because you know when you uh, when you create things um, in 3D, in Cinema 4D or something, um, mm, it's a, you know, it's just a kind of static thing. And you could see only for for a particular part of your, you know, of your project in some point. But here you could create the whole, uh, you know, environment, render it with 360 camera, and uh, you know, give your viewer this ability to 
you know, became a, a part of your, you know, imagination. This is a really crazy for me because I'm doing this, you know, for for decades, these images, and uh, it's a next step in this process. And this is so great, you know, when you could just create something uh, where you are, you know, VR headset and just dive inside it. So, you know, my wife, she, you know, was just, <laughs> you know, what the hell? This is crazy because, you know, I, I did it, th this particular thing I did with the um, 20,000 by 10,000 pixels. And it's so crisp and so, you know, detailed that you could just spend, you know, minutes just looking for these small elements everywhere. <laughs> this is, this is really crazy. So, yeah. Uh, so next one. Um, yeah, about some architecture. Um, uh, my course is more about concept architecture. Yeah, here it is. It's a final thing. So, um, uh, actually, what I want to do uh, is, you know, to dive into Photoshop and to finish this guy a little bit. Uh, but I will do it after this question, a uh, couple of questions. So, uh, about real architecture and uh, my course, actually, um, my course is more based on uh, some kind of concept thinking. So, like Zaha Hadid um, uh, concept drawing, um, you know, it's uh, just a more concentrated on an idea, on a, some kind of visual language of your form, of a, you know, some kind of pure idea, which could be later transformed into, you know, some kind of real architecture or something. But in my course, it's more, you know, about this uh, building your, uh, you know, the fresh and really Wow, I have to find some appropriate words. Some kind of core ideas without diving too deep into a reality. We have to, you know, um, keep only this first and extremely important moment of finding some ideas and big concepts later sure we could dive and create some interesting things right and so how people could live here how we, we could build it but this you know the main idea of my course is some kind of free your mind to you know dive into this story of uh, geometry light and you know endless possibilities yeah something like this. Uh, so it's not too um, concentrated on a reality. It's more on your imagination and what we could, uh, how we could think, how we could, uh, you know, uh, find some inspirational things and how we could build later something um, and create a 360 images. So yeah, and um, about 360, how Arnold was for this specific VR 360 camera. So actually, uh, it's not uh, for a real time uh, thing. It's uh, for a, um, one shot. So actually, um, in my course, I'm just um, explaining how to set up this 360 camera, how to render only one image, you know, and this um, image will be, you know, this thing which you, uh, you know, later will be able to use as a, you know, 360 thing. So, and uh, let me just, um, 
uh, finish this image a little bit uh, with with some kind of color correction. Uh, and I'm not going to dive too deep to, you know, to some kind of adding some textures and something because it's already hour and a half or something. Uh, so just, uh, I want to, you know, set up some interesting um, light and tweak something a little bit. So, and yeah, uh, VR is more in my course about uh, static images. It's not about this, you know, great stuff of, you know, unity and real time stuff. No, it's a more about one image which you create, render, and then, you know, upload it to Facebook on a sketch pop or you know whatever you want so okay it's pretty cool yep that's what we did we add some kind of color correction and I'm going to add some kind of haze or some nice uh, light things on top of it just a small hints of light Yeah, it's pretty cool. And um, let me just close this gap here. Let me create a new layer. And um, you now just a really fast way of fixing something. Yeah, it's not perfect, for sure, but something. Uh, yeah, and, um, you know, concerning textures, uh, and some kind of elements, uh, what actually I explained in my course, um, it's not about some kind of hardcore UV mapping or something. It's more about uh, drawing on top, because it's the easiest way to to create some 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 interesting results and uh, now i want to uh you know add a little bit details uh not a huge amount but some some nice details because i set up uh, everything is some kind of uh, really raw and, you know, ge ge geometrical things. And I want to keep this thing and add some details here, here and there. Yeah. Yeah, this one is too much. Yep, something like this. And um, yeah, I think I will even add some kind of static textures in a couple of minutes, just to show you how it's how it could be pretty easy, and really nice to finish your work in Photoshop. And you don't have to spend too much time doing some hardcore texturing in 3D because we could always finish it in 2D. Yay. Mm, actually, I'm holding shift and to draw these lines, straight lines. Yep, and these lines, um, you know, they just, um, I think they could help us to, um, you know, to, to set up our perspective. Boom, boom, boom. Something like this. Uh, yep. Not too hardcore. Something nice. 
and these guys here, maybe dream. Uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty pretty nice. Uh, let let me add some more details. More details. Why not? We all love them. So, and that's what I'm trying to, uh, what I tried to explain. Uh, we kept everything quite simple, and because we kept um, this simplicity, now we could add some elements, and it's 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 pretty you know nice and pretty cool because we kept everything with you know this geometrical simplicity at some point um yeah why not it's pretty pretty weird yep so and um yeah what to what i want to do um okay let me just open a couple of my um projects no not a couple one it's epsilon and this is some kind of graphic design which i made for for it and i well you know i just want to you know take this um texture copy it and paste it here paste it on top the screen not screen overlay yep Mm-hmm. It's pretty cool. Convert a smart object. That's what I got from a Max Berman class. Smart objects are so great. Yep. And um, let's place it here. Because, yeah, we could create everything in 3D, but this is not an easiest task to unwrap things and you know do this kind of texturing and stuff yeah i don't want to create it too big or something yeah maybe this size is pretty okay you know just to, as a as a small hint of some kind of texture or information and actually, I suppose I want to copy this this guy. Yep, open it and open it and paste it. Um, convert to smart object. Overlay. And uh, yeah, let's, oops, let's place it here. Distort it a little bit, not too much. Yeah, maybe something like this one. So, okay, I'm pretty happy with it. And uh, let's uh, color correct it. And then a couple of more questions and that's all some color correction because i want to keep some kind of bluish and greenish colors not a keep but add because now it's it's too too warm uh, and i suppose for this type of geometry uh, this um, you know spiky shaped things some kind of warm colors are not too good so yep, and uh, maybe it's too um, too saturated. Yeah, maybe something like this one, and let's sharpen it a little bit. Sharp it. Yeah, boom. Yeah, quite heavy. So let me save it. Yep, let me save it. Twitch. 
twitch and uh, png okay uh, final image okay here we go boom yep okay it was pretty fast uh, not quite happy with everything but you know for this small amount of time it was pretty cool so okay and um, I see a couple of more questions Okay, uh, Hakim in the machine uh, asked about how do you go about detailing your models? Wow, you know, um, yeah, sure, references. You can't um, create something better than your, ref uh, than your references. Uh, and, um, you know, but it's not about stealing. It's, you know, about um, increasing your visual vocabulary. You have to, you know, spend hours and months and years uh, gathering some references, um, you know, building your um, some kind of, you know, visual um, perception. And it's not about some kind of s strict references. Okay, I have to use this thing for this thing. Sometimes it's just, you know, it's some something from the back of your head because you already saw this image you already um you know got it and now you just can use it without even understanding from you know where you got this idea or something so it's just you know about your inner vocabulary but building a solid reference base for your project is extremely important and in my course i covered this thing and actually first week we are just doing really deep and um, you know interesting journey into references and you have to find references from the different you know fields not from the you know architecture it's the worst thing worst case scenario is to find references in from the you know field from which you are going to create something in which you know you have to find it in nature in science and physics in uh, fashion design or somewhere else not to dive too deep you know into you know so for example if you're doing so, something for a, a science fiction game or something it's it's not a smart way to find references uh, on a art station with some kind of tag science fiction th th thing because science fiction it's about uh, some kind of f futurology and how to how objects could work in you know decades or something you have to find reference from medicine from top uh, technology but not from the other guys um, in your field not no please guys <laughs> create a really deep uh, you know some kind of exploration and uh, dive uh, into these new fields and find references there yeah cool uh yeah yeah stealing is a great uh, way for you know learning you know at some point you have to <clears throat> some kind of dissect some projects you, you could when you know it's it's about your inner feeling when you feel oh fuck it this is so crazy this is so great huh? i really want to create this thing you have to you know dive inside this thing and understand why why did you you know get this feeling what actually you know uh what actually was this, you know, spark of, you know, curiosity? Find it and go further. Find this, you know, find what references this guy used for his project. It's really uh, <clears throat> actually 
interesting way to dissect even films and find some kind of really interesting lighting scenarios and say, okay, okay, he used some work from Renaissance and he used some, you know, lighting scenarios from Leonardo da Vinci or from some kind of uh, Rembrandt or something. It's really, really interesting to, you know, step further, not to, you know, you know, to just see what you see, but to, you know, step inside it and you know find some answers inside each project which you perceive it's, it's a really interesting uh investigation <clears throat> okay do, do, do. Mm -hmm. um so yeah, and um, about um, levels and about some kind of um, for my course. Actually, this course I, I built this course um, just you know with the, with the idea that everyone could start from the very beginning, even if he just can't <clears throat> understand uh, what the three D modeling is. And uh, with my first mentorship, uh, I got, you know, some kind of um, experience uh, that people were not quite far from a modeling from a 3D world. But, you know, because I just explained all the tools, uh, all the principles of doing, um, you know, some kind of th and thinking, it was, you know, really easy for, for people to understand uh, and get this knowledge and create their own project. It, it was really, really um, inspiring to see how, you know, people just um, build their, you know, mindset with this new uh, stuff. Yeah, it was it was pretty cool. Yeah. So, um, Yeah, yeah. So, guys, I, I think that's all. Uh, I, I think I covered uh, all the questions. Um, um, so, um, yeah, NTL Sora asked um, graphic design, of course. Uh -huh. Yeah, about, uh, you know, next step. So, wait a second. Yeah, yeah. So, um, you know, about uh, my course, I, I try to, you know, cover um, two things. I, I, I try to cover technical side and artistic side, but mostly, uh, you know, this uh, artistic side for sure. Because um, I believe that tools are just a tools and you, you, you could, you know, change your tools while you're doing your projects. You could migrate from Cinema 4D to Houdini. You could switch to you know blender or somewhere um even your rendering system yes but you know these um you know some kind of methods of thinking your ideas how to build your project from the ver very beginning to the finish this is the vital thing and that's what i'm trying to show you in my course and that's what i'm trying to you know explain uh, that you know it's it's really so you know complicated things have to you know dissect it into simple elements and you have to um finish each element at time so and about stepping further i suppose um you know motion graphic design and um graphic design it's um you know it's a great uh industry and um it's some kind of endless way to, you know, just uh, um, learning nowadays. And uh, I believe there are pretty great guys on Learn Square, uh, which, you know, did a really great courses on, um, um, on motion graphics. And uh, actually, I'm planning to create an, a course 
uh, covering some kind of art films create uh, creation because I was struggled with this you know lack of information how to build a project from the very beginning how to keep your passion for months how to finish it how to publish it it's a, so you know important parts of a project development uh, but I think that you know I covered it somehow in my course yeah not about motion graphics for sure <laughs> yeah but about you know this type of thinking about project and um, I designed this course as a you know this idea of um, you could um, this is something like a first step because in this first step you build your um, understanding of uh, software and how to think with visuals how to create your reference base how to you know solve your 3d problems and create some interesting results and maybe my next course will be totally about animation yeah thinking about it but i think not ready at this particular moment yeah guys so uh thank you very much it was really cool it was my first twitch uh, i hope you like it yeah hope did you like it not yeah so <laughs> feel free to you know email me if you have some questions um, my website is um, jestkov.com let me just um, write it down here oh uh, boom oops huh Oh, I can't. No, I can't. I have to register or something. So, actually, my website is just Um It's my surname. Um, let me show you um, how to how to write it. Just and my other social. Uh, you could find uh, you know me on. Um, yeah, it's me. Hello. Hello, guys. It's me. I have to, you know, <laughs> it have to be my first uh, thing uh, for my, you know, Twitch that with my photo. Hello, it's me. Yeah. And um, on my site, you could find some kind of Instagram, Behance, Facebook, Twitter and Vimeo uh, accounts. Uh, follow me. And um, so my website is um, let me let me type it. and uh really bold yay and on a white background yep here it is just gov.com um yep and uh i suppose that's all yeah yeah, it's, it, it was about two hours. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Thank you very much. And um, speak to you soon. Maybe I will create um, some more streams. Yeah, I'm really happy that you like it. Yeah, Woo! cool. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I'll create my own account because it was pretty cool, you know, to share something. You know, and as in some kind of wise um, site, it's a sharing, is a you know second learning or something. Yeah. So thank you very much, guys. Uh, I wish you you know great time because here it's a you know early morning, and maybe you are in somewhere where it's um, evening in United States or in Canada, on in South America. I'm not sure. And um, thank you very much. Спасибо. Uh, пока and bye-bye. Bye. Bye. <laughs> bye, guys. Thank you.